Hello everyone and welcome to this uh, tutorial and um, today I will show you how to make a simple slider where the value will be changed with the slider with whole numbers or with decimals yeah let's get to it so the first thing that you will have to do is to make the UI slider And then on the canvas, you will have to make a text, and this we can call the slider text, like this. On the slider here, you can set your minimum value or your maximum value. Uh, let's set it to 10. The slider text, let's move it up here. Uh, let's say 10, make it bold. Then on your slider, let's make a script called uh, slider change. Change, change, oh, change. Open it up in Visual Studio. And here you will have to add using Unity Engine dot UI and using TM Pro. TM Pro is if you are using the TextMix Pro. If you are not using TextMix Pro, you can simply just uh, uh, leave this out and then just add the text. Here you will need a public slider called slider. Then you will need a public TextMix Pro called slider text. And here, if you do not use uh, TextMix Pro but normal text, just use text here instead. Then in your update, update function you can say your slider text dot text is equal to the slider dot value dot to string. Save the script, head back to Unity. On the slider now, when it's done compiling, you need the text and you need the slider. Now when you hit the play button, it should change with this. So now you can see it's doing it with decimals. One thing that you can do is here you have the whole number. So if you press this one, it will do it with whole numbers. If you, as an example, want uh, one decimal, you can open up the script again. Here, uh, after the two string, you can just say like this, 0.0, zero dot zero. save the script, get back to Unity, and now when you hit the play button and try again, when it's done compiling, come on, then it should only take one decimal, like that. And if you notice here, if you go down, you can see it's not it's not completely uh, to zero. If you see here, if I take the slider now, you can see here it's 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 that the end here. So if you want uh, the circle here to be on the middle, you can actually just take the fill area, ah uh, sorry, the handle slice area, and move this a bit, and the same in the other end, you can just move this. This is where the middle of the slider should, should stop. So yeah, you can actually just put it here. Then when you take the slider and put it up in the other end, it looks terrible because of the fill area of course needs to go with it, like this. So now when you do it, it looks good. Yeah, that was it for this tutorial. Thanks a lot for watching.